it's that time. Time to jam with jam, and this is jam. I'm Anne Mosnet, and I'd like to welcome you to the premiere edition of Jam. Jam is a bi-weekly music magazine that will air every Thursday night at 7 p.m. on Big Valley Cable and Lodi Cable. Tonight on Jam, we have interview with Alan Hunter, MTV VJ, John Smith from Toto, Stockton's Home Pacific Crossing, The Roll On Band, and film from House of Caribs Closing Night. But first, Jam reporter Gary Bell talks with Pacific Crossing. Hi, I'm Gary. We're here at Calamity Jane's with Pacific Crossing. Your single, uh, what is it, Rocket to the Top, or is, is that what it's called? That's what it's called. You're the, writer. You're the writer. What is it about? About? Well, it's about rocking it to the top. I, I, uh, it's just one of those uh, quickie tunes. You get inspired and you know, write a tune that feels good, and uh, it all just fell together. It's How's the single doing sales-wise and on the radio? Um, well, locally it's doing real well. We haven't, we didn't expand out of this area. It was pretty much, you know, it's our first 45, and so we just wanted to see what we could do here, and we really don't have the distribution to go anywhere else with it, so uh, we're pleased, you know. Pacific Crossing, rocking it to the top. a smoke in tune by Pacific Crossing. Right now, I'm, I'm real honored to have with us a, a celebrity in his own right. Uh, a man who was with Grammy Award winning band Toto. So, Mr. Smith, how did you end up jamming with Pacific Crossing? Well, uh, 
I called Steve a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I met Steve in 1976, and when I came back, I was really trying to find him because I enjoyed playing with him. So I called him up, and he invited me down to come check the group out. I liked it a whole lot, so I hope to be around for a while. Great. So how did you bump into Mr. Smith? We was playing at uh, the Moose Lodge in Lodi, and John just happened to wander in, gave me his card, and said for me to call him up if I was interested. Called him up the very next the very next morning. Great. Have you ever toured with any other band besides Toto? Yeah, I was an original member with Edgar Winters White Trash in 1970 and 71. And then in 76, before I met Steve, I was with the Boss Gag Band with the Silk Degrees album. What's the word? The word is jam. So spread the word, because you saw John Smith of Toto right here on Jam. Now how about some music news? Hi, this is Chris Watson with some jamming news. Item one. There have been a lot of breakups and get-togethers lately in the local music scene. Knockout, together as one of Stockton's strongest bands for some two and a half years, split up just days after playing an August 16th San Joaquin County Fair date as a trio. Their lead vocalist, Annette Gale, leaving the band some weeks before. The three key members of the band, Jeff Babineau, Jimmy Wren, and Brad Lang, are uh, all pursuing solo ventures. In fact, Jimmy Wren and Brad Lang are still working together uh, on a series of new projects. The James Blonde Band, after dissolving temporarily into a nondescript state after an August 6th House of, House of Carib show, have solidified again into a new and cleaner form. Uh, showing up on the scene are new drummer and new guitarist, and Eric Westfall and Marvin Hudson pr uh, continue to provide the recognizable vocals and fluid bass lines. Uh, the new and improved James Blonde Band, incidentally, played for the first time at the closing night celebrations at the House of Carib, which uh, brings us to the next item. And uh, it must be all too apparent to all the musically oriented people of Stockton that the House of Carib on Thornton Road, after a short 10 months of well-intentioned business, has closed its doors to the public and to the local music scene. September 9th was the night that saw Carolyn Avalar, known so affectionately to all of us as Mom, bid a tearful goodbye to the familiar building before a sizable crowd and the music of Bill Stevens and friends and the aforementioned James Blonde Band. Jam managed to take Mom aside long enough to get a few words from her about the unfortunate closing as Pat O'Shaughnessy talked with her that night. This is Carolyn, the owner of House of Carib, and Carolyn, what happened to make the Caribs close down? Well, first of all, why don't you call me Mom? Everybody else does. Economics, there just wasn't enough money to keep the place running. We um, put everything we had into it, but PG&E alone is astronomical in a place this size. And during the summer months, there just wasn't enough clientele, you know, to keep us alive. We had an awful lot of problems when we began in the inception. Uh, parents didn't want their children here and we opened care of with the idea that if it was safe enough for our kids it would be safe enough for other kids and we have two daughters and we felt very secure with it. That's really too bad. Uh, I enjoyed the place myself. Uh, here's some news about some releases uh, motion picture wise over the summer. Uh, stepping away from music a little bit but remaining in the entertainment field here are a few statistics concerning this year's motion pictures and how much money they made and how much money they lost. Uh, the largest grossing film, I suppose anyone can guess this, Return of the Jedi grossed $232 million over the summer. Flashdance, $8 million to make, $81 million at the box office. War Games, $9 million to make, $68 million at the box office. Some others, Trading Place, $10 million to make, $80 million at the box office. Octopussy, $25 million to make, $62 million grossed. Twilight Zone, $10 million to make, a mere $10 million to make, $33 million at the box office. Some losers, Superman 3, expected to gross over $200 million over the summer, only $62.5 million. Some other real bad losers, Man with Two Brains, Dr. Detroit, Disney's Something Wicked This Way Comes, and Metal Storm. Here's something that'll make you think. Asia has evidently canceled their American tour, the last 35 dates on the American tour, uh, so that they may travel to Tokyo, Japan and put on one show to be aired live by MTV. The motive behind this kind of decision might have a lot to do with the fact that they aren't selling many tickets at their stateside shows. In case you hadn't heard, less than a thousand tickets had been show sold for their San Francisco Warfield Theater show, and the tickets have been on sale for quite a while. 
here's some uh, news about some releases out on the shelves, new releases record-wise. Uh, Units, the San Francisco-based synth-pop band, have released a new 12-inch single on their new Epic label, uh, which contains two versions of the song, A Girl Like You. The single, and here's the interesting part, is produced by Michael Cotton of The Tubes. Ultravox has released their fourth single from the highly touted Quartet LP. The tune called We Came to Dance is currently available only as an imported UK 12-inch single. Big Country, that English quartet that uh, has stood the music credits on their ears, has domestically released their debut LP, The Crossing. Gary Bell will be reviewing that sh uh, album in a short while on this show, so you should be staying tuned for that. Uh, some other quick releases here. Michael Sembello has released his uh, new solo album called Bossa Nova Hotel. Huey Lewis in the News, Sports. John, Denver, John Denver's new album, It's About Time. X has a new one out, More Fun in the New World. Probably a good album. Uh, translator, No Time Like Now. Lords of the New Church, Is Nothing Sacred? Aldo Nova's new album, Project Aldo Nova, is out. Romantic's new album, their fourth album, In Heat. Uh, was Not Was, Born to Laugh at Tornadoes. Uh, Commodore's new album, 13, is out. Linda Ronstadt has her new album, some very symphonic album out called What's New, and Depeche Mode with Construction Time Again. In the singles charts, Flock of Seagulls have released their uh, third single off the uh, Listen album, It's Not Me Talking, uh, Berlin with Mas Masquerade, and Billy Joel, Uptown Girl. From Calamity Janes in Stockton, California, the roll-on band with One Way Writer. haven't heard country till you've seen the roll-on band and big country ain't country as you'll see with gary bell's record review since the rise of the punk revolution billy idol has made a lasting impression in the ears of the rock world first with the ill-fated generation x and even more so now on his own his latest release don't stop on chrysalis Records, sports four songs recorded during the same sessions as his solo album the four songs, Baby Talk, The Untouchables, Tommy James and the Shondells, Money Money, and his new hit, Dancing With Myself, recorded with Generation X, emit the charismatic crunch that is associated with Idol's sound. Don't Stop is a good way to associate yourself with Billy Idol if you haven't already. 
from Canada, a country that has given us Rush, Triumph, and Loverboy, we now have Men Without Hats. Rhythm of Youth, their debut album on Backstreet Label, promises a lot musically, but never comes through, lacking lyrically in all the wrong places, like the beginning, the middle, and the end. The Safety Dance, their hit single, is reminiscent of this lyrical weakness. We can dance, we can dance, everybody look at our hunts. <laughs> right. 1983 has really turned out to be the year of the newcomers. Already bands such as R.E.M., Missing Persons, and the Divinals have etched out a place for themselves in rock and roll. Now prepare yourselves for Big Country, the new kids on the block from England. The Crossing, their debut album on Mercury Records, features the rising hit in a big country, which is taking radio stations by storm. This English quartet, quartet is very rhythm-oriented, which is evident throughout their 11 featured songs, making use of the underrated Ebo Big Country have come up with, to say the least, an interesting tonal quality, reminiscent of the Gaelic stylings of the Limelighters and the Kingston Trio. Very little is actually known about Big Country, but as soon as the rest of America hears our music, there will be no secret. For the last four years, the Bay Area music scene has basically been ruled by Journey and the Great Kin Band. Finally, after what has seemed like an eternity, the best band with a chance to oust Journey as King of the Hills has arrived. Welcome the Eric Martin Band. Formerly known as 415, Eric Martin and his bandmates have combined their talents on 10 outstanding songs, including their rising hits, Don't Stop, and Sucker for a Pretty Face, which is also accompanied by a video on MTV. Produced by Herbie Herbert of Journey fame, the band has actually received a lot of help from Journey, and Greg Rawley in particular, in getting their music off the ground and onto vinyl. Sucker for a Pretty Face is by far the best album I have heard in quite a while for a debut band. And given the right breaks here and there, they could be as big, if not bigger, than Journey. It's only a matter of time. Limousines, a sure sign that a star is close by. And sure enough, Alan Hunter, MTV's finest VJ, was signing autographs at Tower Records in San Francisco. And Jam was there. So let's see what Alan had to say to Jam reporter Matt Hedger. I'm sorry, your name again? My name is Matt. This Hi, is Matt. Hi. How are you? Pleased to meet you. We're on camera? We're on camera. We're, We're here with Matt today to talk about the sales going on here inside. We got some wang bang old sales now. Come on down here to Tower Records, Bay in Columbus. We're gonna have a good time. What's it like being a VJ for MTV? Well, you get to act silly, first yeah. of all. All right. Uh, well, no, I mean, that's one thing they let me do. Being a VJ is great. I mean, you know, you get to come to San Francisco and wave to everybody. Hey, everybody in San Francisco, by the way. Uh, so I do get to travel a little bit. So if there's anybody in Stockton that's watching and then they want to become a VJ, what do they need to do? Be lucky? Eat your Wheaties. Wheaties with bananas every time. Be a VJ. You can't go to school for it. No. I mean, I didn't go to school for being a VJ. Uh, I don't know. Talk to the mirror a lot. Mm -hmm. Not to look at yourself, but just to get used to looking into something that reflects. Mm -hmm. uh, know your music. Love your music. You gotta love your music. That's all. I mean, if you if you're into uh, all different kinds of music and you think that video really is the wave of the future, then you got a head start on being a good VJ. We definitely think video is the way of the future. So I you bet you do because you've got a video machine here. Are you heading over to the police concert this afternoon? Yes, absolutely. We're gonna go and uh, watch as many bands as we can. I'm gonna get up on stage and do a little tap dance. We're all right. Have a good time. Sounds good. Could I get you there? to? Yeah, gonna be there for sure. Could I get you to sign this to Jam? Sure. No, to, to to Jam. That's the name of our music show. J A M. J A M. J A M. That's us. What's the slogan? Jamming with jam. <laughs> Jamming with jam. Okay. <laughs> okay, little boy, and uh, come back and shop with us again. Which... <laughs> Thanks a lot for no, being with us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, See you now what do we do? What? What do you want to go? Keep going. How's it going to go? And we'd like to talk to this man right here about jam. Gumby. 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 Gumby is the wave of the future. Is Gumby rock and roll or what? He doesn't take anything from anyone. <laughs> you heard it. Alan Hunter here, MTV Music Television. Gumby is rocking. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. And your check will be in the mail. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. That's what they teach me to do is wait, wait, use a microphone. Sure. Uh, Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Hey, yeah. You're on TV. Yeah, with them too. Is this live? <laughs> Alan Hunter, a great guy with a great job. You've got to start somewhere. Alan started somewhere, and we want to help you get started. So someday you too can be a star. So listen up, because Duncan Atkinson has some info for you. This is Duncan Atkinson for Jam, and this is the Musician's Junction Box, where each week we'll be trying to place local musicians and local bands together in a way that uh, is kind of like a classified situation. Uh, first on our list this week, we have a male vocalist needed for a professional heavy metal rock band. 
in the Joe Elliott, Steve Perry type of voice range. If you fit this bill, you can call Doc at 952-5149 or Nick at 473-2151. You have a bassist looking for a working top 40 or rock and roll band. He learns very quickly. His name is Tommy Sisko, and you can reach Tommy at 465-1740 until 2.30 p.m. We have a drummer looking for a working band with 14 years music experience and seven years playing rock. His name is Peter, and he can be reached at 478-1897 or 941-4366. Next up, we have a female vocalist and keyboard player, really interested in new ideas and new music sound. Her name is Marie, and you can reach Marie at 473 2450. We have a multi-keyboardist looking for a top 40 rock working band, serious inquiries only. His name is Jeff Ball and you can reach Jeff at 264-5613. Last on our list for today, we have a guitarist looking for a band. He can sing, he's had five years experience playing and he's got good equipment. His name's Tom and you can reach Tom at 772-1694. Now, if you have anything to send to us or any inquiries about this program, you can write it to Junction Box, care of JAM, P.O. Box, 9400, Stockton, California, 95208. Remember, that's JAM, P.O. Box, 9400, Stockton, California, 95208. Now let's get into some jam and jazz with a local group called Group Therapy. This is a video directed by Doug Arlenis with some jam and special effects.
Jam. 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 Obviously, Jam. it's the end of the Jam. show or we wouldn't be doing Jam. something like this. Jam. But before Jam. we go, you ought to know. Jam. Next week, the Jam. Eric Martin Jam. Band, live or whatever we can get on tape on them. Jam. Kiss Unmasked. Jam. Maybe you'll want to see it and then Jam. maybe you won't. Jam. If you like what we're doing, give us a line. Let us know. Jam. We're Jam, Jam Post Office Box Jam. 9400, Jam. Stockton, California, Jam. 95208. Jam. Next week, we'll have Gary with Record Jam. Reviews. Jam. Chris will be doing the news. Duncan with the Junction Box. Musicians, get your stuff into him so you can find a band. And found a band. Kent and Matt, they don't want a band. But we're doing fine, because we're the boys from Jam. If you like it, let us know. If you don't, go talk to your mother. Now then, what will we be doing? Jamming with Jam. Jam is produced and directed by Kent Russell, in association with Matt Hedger. JAM staff includes the members of Spot the Dog, Pat O'Shaughnessy, Duncan Atkinson, Chris Watson, Gary Bell, and Ann Mosnett. Special thanks to Tower Records, Stockton's number one record store, for donating albums to tonight's record review. If you would like to sponsor JAM, write us at JAM, P.O. Box 9400, Stockton, California, 95208. See you next week, same JAM time, same JAM channel.